welcome back to Lindy Lou Productions. Um, sorry for kind of the weird room and where I'm at, but it had the best lighting, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, but today's video is going to be about my three favorite and least favorite pieces of tack um, for riding horses. So normally in the past two episodes of this, I did five favorites and five least favorites. But I honestly couldn't really come up with five for this, so I thought I would just stick with three. Um, so I will go through my least favorite pieces of tack first. So let's jump right into it. So my first least favorite piece of tack, say that five times fast, um, would have to be the martingale. Um, I'm not really an English rider, so that's mainly used in English riding, so that might somewhat be why I'm not really a fan of it. I just find it like awkward to put on, like it's like annoying that you have to like put it through the girth and everything because if I rode a horse for someone that they use that, I would always forget and I'd get them all girthed up and then have to undo it and put the martingale on, so I just always personally found it annoying. Um, I think if it's something you got into a habit with, you know, then that wouldn't be a problem, but I just never cared for them. My second favorite least piece of tack would have to be um, the baby pad. Um, in the English world, some people use them in Western almost as like a pad liner to kind of soak up the sweat or just kind of add more layering to your saddle pad. And I get it, but a lot of the people in the English world, they will just use it as their sole pad. And I don't really find the purpose of that because they are so thin um, that I, you might as well not even really wear a saddle pad in my opinion um, because they're just so thin. I don't, I don't really see how they do much. But anyway, my third least favorite piece of tack would have to be bronc halter. I just think they're ugly. Like um, rope and bronc halters, I think they're ugly. I think they cause unneeded pressure on the horse's face and nose, and I just don't care for them. I think that it, a big, huge piece of leather, um, like taking up the whole face of the horse, just kind of looks stupid. But next, I will go through my three favorite pieces of tack. I will start from my third favorite and go down. Um, so my third favorite piece of tack would have to be fluffy, any sort of fluffy, like, leg protection. Um, you know, like, dr really fluffy with a lot of Sherpa, um, dressage boots, any sort of thing like that. Um, obviously I like SMB boots too, like sport boots, but they don't have fluffiness on them. Um, those are my favorite. I have probably about, eh, maybe three sets for Lindy and love them. I would buy more in a heartbeat. There are so many out there that I would buy, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're kind of expensive. So second favorite piece of tack would be any sort of fluffy halter. I just love the look. I just love the look of like fluffiness and like Sherpa. And I know in the summertime, um, you know, you kind of have to be careful because it is hot and can make them sweat more. Um, like right now, I'm thinking of changing Lindy's halter. If you guys have paid attention to any of my videos, you'll see that there's like Sherpa galore on her leather halter. And I need to either take it off or switch her to another halter because it's just starting to get too hot. And my number one um, favorite piece of tack would have to be a western work like rough out or reining saddle i just love the way that they look i love the way that they fit the horse and i love the way that they feel when you're riding them i just think they look really classy and nice and that's my favorite piece of tech um, so yeah, guys, this was kind of short and sweet. Be watching for another installment in this series next week. If you guys have any ideas, comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see. Um, but be looking for a barn vlog next. I have some exciting news um, with some new horses that I'm going to be riding. Um, so stay tuned for that. It probably will be out Monday or Tuesday. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!